Hello folks, Sean Ferrick here for Trek Culture and I am bringing you a bit of a different news update this week. No, I do not have confirmation of 75 more different Star Trek series and no, I am not confirming our wonderful interview that's definitely going to happen with insert actor's name here at some point. Instead, I have a little bit of real world news which very much pertains to the Trek franchise as a whole. So grab a coffee, sit down with me, and let me bring you the good news. Dr. Harold G. Sonny White. This is a name we may come to remember quite well. He is a former NASA scientist who has currently been undergoing study into custom Casimir cavity geometries. Now, I'm sure we're all going, of course, what is very, very important, what has been announced recently, is that while engaged in this specific study, he has observed the creation of something really quite remarkable. Now, for context, let's go back to 1994. Mexican mathematician Miguel Alcubierre, he put forward a theory back in 1994, which would effectively show how to make a warp bubble. Now, it was, at the time, it was deemed a little bit too science fiction because of the sheer amount of fictional or basically makey up gosh, wouldn't it be nice if we had types of materials and a tremendous amount of energy consumption. However, a decade on, Dr. White refined his idea. Now, he didn't exactly prove the theory of warp capability and warp travel, but what he did is he managed to look at that original theory and sort of rework it so that it would use less exotic materials and less energy consumption. Now, this is all well and good. That sort of went on a bit of a shelf for a while. In August 2021, at the American Institute for Aeronautics and Astronautics Propulsion Energy Forum, try saying that one 10 times fast, Dr. White presented a rather groundbreaking discovery. While he had been engaged in the Casimir cavity research, they had witnessed a nano warp bubble. He says himself, look, basically, hold your horses, everyone. No, we are not about to launch the Enterprise. That's not where we're at with this. What this means is that in a case of right place, right time, they observed this creation of a warp bubble. There you go. That's that's how you create warp speed. That's that's how you do everything. Now, we are we are so far away from launching ships into space that you might be like, why is this news? Well, this is news because this is this is a tiptoe over a line. This is we, we've gone past a threshold here. Dr. White did hurry to say, now, look, we're not testing the next round yet because they are being funded at the moment to continue their Casimir cavity geom geometries. Uh, again, try saying that one 10 times fast. And that is their main area of focus. However, they have submitted their discovery. It's been peer reviewed. And yes, it has been confirmed that, okay, yeah, this, this happened. So they've said that when they are able to, when the time comes, they will test a one micron cylinder in a four micron warp bubble cylinder as well. Sorry, that was a one micron sphere in a four micron warp cylinder. That will then allow them to start testing traveling faster than the speed of light. And then way, 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 way down the road, again, almost in the science fiction levels at this point, we start looking at inertial dampers and shields and, and all that. So that is nowhere near ready for testing. What, what we've done now is that it has been observed that a warp bubble has been created. But look, this is this is enormous. This this is big. So while I don't think I'll be bringing you the news next week of our first nip around Saturn or anything like that, there is a possibility that we may get to it before Zephram Cochrane takes that flight on April 4th, 2063. That's everything for me today, folks. If you want to stay up to date with everything, make sure you follow us over on Twitter at Trek Culture. Make sure you follow me at Sean Ferrick and all the various socials as well. You look after yourself until I'm talking to you again. You look after your nearest and dearest. And most importantly, you live long and prosper. Thanks very much.